Christmas 1, Wednesday, Simeon and Jesus. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Genesis 32, verse 30. Dear Redeemed, Jacob, Genesis 32, and Simeon, Luke 2, had a number of things in common. They were both sinners descended from Adam, and they were both saints, declared righteous in God's sight by grace through faith in the Savior. In addition, both men had held the Son of God in their arms, Jacob by wrestling with him until God's blessing was received, and Simeon by holding him in his arms, which was a blessing. In addition, both men saw God face to face, and their lives were preserved. Simeon is often portrayed as an old man and or as a priest. The scriptures do not speak of either. Rather, we know from the biblical account that on the day when Joseph, Mary, and Jesus were in the temple for Mary's purification and Jesus' presentation, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, then he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Luke 2, verses 29 through 32. These are the words of the Nunc Dimittis, sung often in the divine service, following the holy communion of Christ's body and blood with the bread and wine. In blessing God, Simeon also spoke concerning himself, that he could now depart in peace according to God's gracious word. He declared that by looking at the baby Jesus, he was seeing the Lord's salvation prepared for the Gentiles or the nations of the world. This Jesus and his gospel would be the light of the world, enlightening all nations. Jesus would also be the glory of Israel, the name given to Jacob and to his descendants. These words of Simeon, inspired by the Holy Spirit, are ones that you may speak concerning yourself and include in your petitions on behalf of all people, whether Jew or Gentile, rich or poor, slave or free, male or female, young or old, friend or foe. Prayer. O oh, dearest Jesus, you are the Savior of all peoples and the Redeemer of each individual. May your word not be bound, but have free course among the nations, tribes, times, and peoples, that all may hear your law and gospel as each one needs. Keep me steadfast in the Christian faith, where I may continue to behold you, your cross, your death, your resurrection, and your ascension with the eye of faith. Bestow upon me trust in you, that I may have the strength, nourishment, and fortitude of both body and soul to continue day by day for as many days as you deem I should be here in this world and in this life. May I, every night, commend myself into your care, praying, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hymn number 190, stanzas 1 and 4. Light of the Gentile nations, thy people's joy and love, drawn by thy Spirit hither, we gladly come to prove thy presence in thy temple, and seek with earnest mind, as Simeon once had waited, his Savior God to find. Let us, O Lord, be faithful, like Simeon to the end, so that his dying song may from all our hearts ascend. O Lord, now let thy servant depart in peace, I pray, since I have seen my Savior have here beheld his day. Mm -hmm.